This conference will now be recorded. Okay, also we will be we'll be starting our next topic that is goods issue. So so the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see goods issue with and without reference. Good difference between withdrawal for a random sampling or scrapping. Effects of goods issue. Goods issue for a cost center. Goods issue with reference to a reservation. Okay. Goods issue with reference to a production order and a difference between planned and unplanned goods issue. Okay, so these are the topics we will be covering in the goods issue. Okay, so basically a goods issue is a goods movement that leads to a reduction in the stock. So here you are issuing the stock. Okay, so for various purposes, like you are issuing the stock to production or you are issuing stock to a particular department. Okay, for some other purpose. So all these things are called as goods issue. So goods issue always results in reduction of the stock. Your stock will get reduced. Okay. The following types of goods issue are possible. Issue of a material for a production order, the one which I just explained. Okay, withdrawal for a for random sampling purposes. So in the quality control department, they want to do uh, they want to do quality inspection of a material. Okay, so for that they will take some sample. So that is called withdrawal for sampling. Scrapping of material, internal staging of material for other purposes. Scrapping means let's say you have a metal it got expired you are not going to use it anymore so you are going to scrap it so that also comes under the goods issue another one is shipping of goods to a customer this is in st sales and distribution module so they deliver the product to the customer this is done this is this is executed exclusively in st module okay so these are the some of the types of goods issue the transaction you enter is determined by the movement type selected. Okay, so basically for various goods issues, you have the uh, movement types. The movement type also determines which additional account assignment data you have to specify. Okay, so it, it here you have the account assignment like production order or cost center. Those things you have to enter based on the movement type to select which we will see in the subsequent class slides okay so these are the ones so basically <clears throat> you have the planned goods issue planned goods issue okay and you have the unplanned goods issue <clears throat> okay so normally uh, goods issue with reference planned goods issue means goods issue with reference so like you you do goods issue for a production order or for sales order to the customer or some withdrawals. Okay, so this can be done from the unrestricted use stock. That means approved stock, only from the unrestricted use stock. And for some cases like withdrawal for sample or withdrawal for scrapping, okay, that can be done from the quality stock or blocker stock. Yeah, so basically you have two types of goods issue. Okay, with reference and without reference. This is with reference and this is without reference. Okay, so these are the various movement types, okay, which we will see in the uh, which we will see in a minute, like goods issue for a cost center, movement type 201, goods issue for a project 221, goods issue for a sales order, okay, and goods issue for a production order 261. This is used in PP, okay. So we have these type of goods issues. And these are the various movement types. Various movement types. Okay. So first we'll start with the unplanned goods issue. Okay. So unplanned goods issue. Unplanned goods issue. Okay. So basically, the unplanned goods issue, this is the one. 
various transactions take place within an enterprise for which a goods issue without reference is entered okay so the the examples are like this okay suppose for example you might have to scrap materials that have become unusable or take random samples of materials for quality control purposes okay so goods unplanned goods issues like suddenly a material has become unusable the material cannot be used anymore then you do scrap it okay so that is unplanned goods issue okay or take random samples of materials for quality control purposes okay so you want to take suddenly some samples for quality inspection so all these things comes under unplanned goods issue okay so withdrawal for consumption okay can only be booked out of unrestricted use the planned ones okay like production order sales order cost center this can be done only from unrestricted use stock but the the unplanned goods issue the withdrawal for random sampling or scrap scrapping can also be booked out of stock in quality inspection or block or stock you can do this issue from the as as i just explained you can do it from a quality inspection stock or from a block or stock okay so now so first i will show you the uh, goods issue to cost center okay so basically unplanned goods issue basically you have first is goods issue to cost center cost center okay this i will show you most widely ones then you have scrapping scrapping and you have sampling so these are the most widely used unplanned goods issues so first we will see the goods issue to cost center okay let me take the material okay let me check one of the metal stock okay. let's take this Three four five three. Three four five three. Three four five four. Don't have stock sale. Oh, let's set. Let's use three four five one. Four, five, four. Okay, let's use three, four, five, four. We don't have stocks now. Let me post some stocks. Just, just give me one minute. stock okay. I posted some stocks okay so now first we will see goods issue to with cost center with reference to cost center so as usual go to Migo. 
go to me go okay now here you have to select goods issue previously we used goods receipt now we let select goods issue so you have to select goods issue goods issue other here we are doing without reference 